Folks, if you've been watching any of my live updates or have been paying attention to any international news on any level, then of course you are aware of, as we would say in Israel, the Balagan related to NGO groups software by the name of Pegasus. Now, if you don't know what that software is, it may very well be the most powerful piece of software used right now, known to man, to be able to figure out what in the world is going on in the private lives of anybody these people darn well want to use it for. Now, it's been interesting because there has been scandal that has come out of this ridiculous trial of Bibi Netanyahu. I don't even want to get into that nonsense. But one of the scandals that has come out as a result of it, not related to Bibi in the sense that he was the guy doing it, but related to some other things that have manifested, is the fact that they have been using this Pegasus software, the Israeli police have been using this Pegasus software to be able to find out information about its citizens. Now, it is interesting because there are officials who are coming out and saying, no, that's not true. We have been using this software only in legitimate situations where we have warrants, la, 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 la. Now, to me, okay, fine, I believe you. And I say that very loosely because I really don't believe you because anytime any corrupt government, any government at all, and I say they're corrupt because humans are involved, gets a hold of software like that, I promise you they're using it for their own gain and they are using it for their own nefarious and corruptive purposes. Now, my point is this. They did not deny actually having it and using it. They only denied using it in a particular context. I don't know about you, but that really bothers me. I think that's something that we probably ought to hone in on because what doesn't bother me is that this is exactly the type of software that we know the Antichrist will very likely be using to determine who is for him and who is against him. Revelation chapter 13, as I have said many times, tells us that this final Antichrist will require a tattoo on the forehead or on the right hand, which basically denotes the fact that you are choosing to worship him. And if you do not have it on your forehead or your right hand, you will not be able to buy or sell. Now, I think that's interesting because how do you achieve that kind of standard? How do you enforce such a law? Well, it's really simple. You have software like Pegasus. You have a cashless society. You continue to rule tyrannically by using tools that are constantly giving you information that really is none of your business. And folks, this stuff isn't coming. This stuff is here. And Israel is not the only person that is working with the NGO group. There are many other people that are, and Pegasus is here to stay. Why? Because the final Antichrist is coming. But here's the more important message. Jesus is coming, and he's coming soon. So it's time to open up our eyes because, folks, time is running out. And God gives us an opportunity to not be a part of any of the judgmental and destructive end of all of this, but that he wants us to be a part of what he has for us with him in heaven. It's time to take advantage of it because when the Lord comes for us, it's going to be awesome. Hope you guys are a part of it. God bless you.